Doc Rich back at it again and on the surgeon's table today. We got a new patient. We got a new patient. We have Benny the Butcher along with the brother Royce um, with Upside Down. I saw this. I dropped earlier. And uh, I mean, there, there, there was so much stuff I was trying to get to today. I've been recording all fucking day long. But um, I wasn't sure if y'all was going to send this my way or not. So I just kind of, you know, made note of it and kept the pushing. Kind of, you know, went about my day and was recording some other stuff. And as I was packing things up, getting ready to finish, one of y'all said, hey, you got to check out the new Royce. So, hey, here we are. Last video of the day, man. We got the brother Royce with Benny the Butcher. This is what we're going to be checking out. Make sure you guys like, share, comment, and also subscribe if you are new. Also, make sure you guys go and follow your boy on social media. The links will be typed up in the description box down below where you guys can always feel free to DM me anything else that you would like to see or if you just want to chat well we can do that too but without further ado my brother royce and benny the butcher y'all both next up on the surgeon's table let's get surgical with it baby let's rock let's hear it skeptics who ain't believe oh, you got a euphoric oh fuck i just like skipped like a whole the whole damn song my bad i'm up here pressing the wrong buttons and shit oh. i was trying to turn it i was trying to turn it up and fucking press the wrong button. Alright. Upside down. Hold on. Wait, wait, wait. Okay. got beef do you stand up or do you run and talk from your computer do you give back to the hood come on which one are you which one let which me know Ah, uh, who going first, Benny or Royce? Why the gay niggas trying to Royce. fuck the straight niggas that's trying to fuck the gay bitches that look just like the straight niggas? Why the straight niggas that the gay bitches trying to wait, 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 Royce, 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 my nigga, my nigga, my nigga, you can't be doing this, man. I've been recording too fucking long today. This nigga said, Why the gay niggas trying to fuck the straight niggas and the straight niggas trying to fuck the straight niggas and gay niggas and get what. Well, Wait, I'm, I'm, com hold on. Why the gay niggas trying to fuck the straight niggas that's trying to fuck the gay bitches that look just like the straight niggas? Why the straight niggas that the gay bitches trying to look just like, trying to look just like the gay niggas? I must look just like the grave diggers. So while the gay niggas trying to fuck the straight niggas, while the straight niggas trying to fuck the gay bitches, while the gay bitches trying to fuck the straight niggas that's trying to look like the gay niggas and... Hopefully I got that right. That 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 was that was a whole lot of flipping and tossing and turning and shouldn't make your head spin. God damn it, you know what I mean? And he looked like the grave digger. <laughs> Fuck the gay bitches that look just like the straight niggas. Why the straight niggas that the gay bitches trying to look just like trying to look just like oh. the gay niggas? I must look just like the grave diggers. You think you the people's champ? Cause people playing your single, but I don't think that you should keep playing with me though. Cause every time I squeeze a damn three foe, that's the Reaper plan bingo. That's a kilogram wrapped up on a Peter Pan Prevos. Whoever think I'm here to make some corny ass radio Viacom jangle. Got my old diatribe tangle. Sitting high up on them tires on my high horse, I'm jangle. Likened by a white powder, John Stamos. He says, sitting high up on my high horse, nigga, I'm jango. Mmm. Probably the only artist who can father time, John Amos. Rapper God erupting out of a comic con campus. I'm Jack. Likened by white Bars. Pepper, John Stamos. Probably the only artist who can father time, John Amos. Rapper God erupting out of a comic con cano. 
commit lyrical homicide while beside Primo to the downers I'm Drano to the genre I'm Thanos and he's bitter think he's sicker than that I have the Thanos take it back to when it was apes in the pack kidnap you over that little rap you wrote leave your family taken the back by the handsome quote that I left on that ransom note I ain't one of these dudes who be computer screen beefing gorilla nigga killing the sweater TL verbal abusing females Bill Maher used the term nigga so loosely cause truthfully he know that he be using it on a DL Louis C.K. Hey, low-key, low I, do, I do be thinking that sometimes. Like, some people that be um, saying the word. Like, I po I posted it on Twitter. I posted it on... Norm normally, I don't post shit like that. You know what I'm saying? But, like, the shit was just so wild. And, and, like, everybody's emotions were so, you know, high. You know, obviously, immediately after Kobe the Bean, rest in peace, my brother, um, passed away. That that news reporter that just, just flat out just... The niggers. It's like, wait, what? Like, how how do you confuse the Los Angeles Lakers with the Los Angeles niggers? <laughs> like, the fuck? Like, I sometimes sometimes I feel like these people be like saying it in their personal lives, and then when they get on camera, they try to shut that off. But you can't shut off the real you. Like, the real you is gonna come out at, at some point in time, and so like it slips out. Like it's an accident. But it's not an accident, if y'all get what I mean. Like, they're not intentionally trying to say that, but they say that shit in their personal lives. So it comes out sometimes, you know what I mean? <sighs> Let's me know how many people are calling us niggers out there. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? God damn. How do y'all feel about it? Let me know in the comment section. Talk to me. Hey, no, he can use it in front of Pookie, but no damn well that he wouldn't use it in front of DL. White kids graduate to relationships, a ton of perks. Black kids just aggravated and had to take a ton of perks. He come to church the first and 21st. And when it come to dirt, Gucci ain't the only ones putting black faces on front of shirts. Black women want to be built like cartoons. Ooh, that's the whole thing, too. And I think I touched on that in another video, um, how these um, companies and brands do that shit on purpose. They do that shit on purpose. Like, if, if, if you're not intelligent enough to see that, I'm just gonna have to give you the palm face emoji. Like every time you you do you think a company like Gucci didn't know that people were gonna be like, what the fuck is this? You you do you think that nobody within that company was like, yo, this this is probably not a good idea. Like to like put like a noose on the shirt or like blackface on the shirt. Like it's probably it's probably not a. It's probably not a. You think nobody in that company said nothing? You think everybody was just like, "Oh yeah, that's a great idea. Yeah, we we should go ahead and sell." No, motherfuckers in that company was like, "Oh yeah, people are gonna be outraged. Um, we'll 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 let it simmer for about a day. Then we'll issue an apology, and everything will be over. We'll get our promo. Sales will go up a little bit. Boom, we'll be back in the mainstream." I don't even know why people get outraged at this point. Like, for me, I don't even pay attention to this shit no more. You, you, you're not getting my attention because I know that's exactly what you want. So that's not what you're going to get. Simple and plain. My nigga's putting his chain in the collection plate. God damn. <laughs> Black faces on front of shirts. Black women want to be built like cartoon characters. Eric Cartman. That bears a striking resemblance to Sarah Bartman. Now Google that when you get a chance. You're going to find out America's heartless. We'll have to do some more research on Sarah Bartman. Sarah Bartman was a, uh, if I remember correctly, she was a Afri She was a black chick who had like a ginormous butt and was like put on display. Like she was like a, like a, like people were like, I don't want to say at all, but like they were like, look at this freak. You know what I mean? Um, but she had like a natural, she had like a natural ass. And um, if I remember correct, I could be wrong. Like, listen, when I, whenever I'm talking, if I'm wrong, forgive me. Like, I ain't, shit, I ain't perfect. Sometimes I get my, my, my shit mixed up, you know what I mean? But if I remember correctly, uh, she was, uh, like I said, a, a, a chick that had a, a enormous ass and was basically put on display like a freak show, you know what I mean? Like a like a freak, you know, like they used to do in the circus back, back in the day, you know, the guy with the amazing strength or the the web toad person you know what i mean it, she was basically put 
in a show like one of those individuals. But obviously, I need to do some more research on it. <clears throat> when you get a chance. You're going to find out if this is Sarah Bartman. You said Google Now it. Google that when you get a chance. You're going to find out America's heartless. Remember. I nigga put the gun in the collection plate. to go into the art. Not the Facts. wave. Ooh. Everybody talking about they own their masters, but if the music don't age well, it don't matter. It's like you own 100% of nothing. Know your value. Mmm. Mmm. He said, he said the effort should be put into the art, not the wave. Fuck all the diamond chains and the techs and, ooh, I'm about to be Gucci down with... Let me stop. I'm about to be designer down with these ugly ass desi designer shoes. Y'all seen some of these designer shoes? We, we ain't gonna say no names, but the, the, there, there's some designer shoes that just look like the, like the dad shoes, like the white dad shoes. Y'all know what I'm talking about? Not like the white person dad shoes, but like there's there's dad shoes that are all white that you typically see like old dads cutting their grass in. And it looked like a company just like stamped their logo on the side of that shit and was like, here you go, $5,000 please. And motherfuckers be actually buying them shits to be thinking they swaggy. I'm like, bro, get the fuck out of here with this bum ass. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, these ugly, you, you look foolish as hell. You look foolish as hell. You buying into all this dumb shit. <laughs> You mean to tell me I could buy a, a, a pair of cheap, generic, white pair of shoes and just stamp a logo on the side and just because it's a name brand, you gonna go buy that shit for like exorbitant amounts of money? Y'all, dumb as a box of rocks. Anyway, <clears throat> but also, um, I do think that only your, only your masters is important and I, I, I don't think that should be overlooked because I, I, there's still a lot of people who um, aren't aware of that and you see it all the time. Motherfuckers sign a life away and then you see they get disappointed and little uzi vert I, i'm sure y'all remember this nigga was like going crazy on social media fuck you and fuck that and the nigga was going nuts and i'm you know I, I i'm not the biggest listener of little uzi vert or nothing like that but obviously when it's posted all over social media you can't help but to see it um and i'm just sitting back like bro you you already signed your life away it's it's a wrap for you my nigga like Somebody should have told you, like, ignore that money that they hanging in front of your face because once you sign your name on that dotted line, they own you. They own you. Ain't shit you can do. I don't care how long you fight it. There's nothing you can do. So, um, long story short, man, ma make sure y'all read in the fine print. And just because somebody dangles some money in your face, or matter of fact, when someone dangles money in your face, that's, that's when you really need to think twice because... People are in, in it to make money. Nobody's going to hand you a million dollars without making sure that they're going to make double, if not triple back. So if they're going to hand you a million, that means they're going to make three, three million off you. So you need to, okay, well, wait, how can I, how can I actually leverage this situation? Maybe, maybe we should do a partnership instead and I'll, I'll take less and it'll be a partnership. So we got equal creativeness and I'm not a slave to you. And I have the option to get out of this thing if, if, if need be. And I can just pay you this to get out. You know what I mean? And not just be stuck. You know? Motherfuckers see that money in their face. Shit. Now you fucked. You know? Say that one more time for the people in the back. Don't, don't. It's not for the wave, man. And it, just because you own your masters, if your shit don't age well, it's like you own 100% of nothing. But make sure y'all own your masters. Even if it's 100% or nothing. <laughs> it don't matter. It's like you own 100% of nothing. Uh-huh. Know your value. Facts. Know your value. Butcher your... coming, nigga. Mm. I like that. Butcher All coming, nigga. You gave him your best. Got you complicating your stress. Cash rules your last move. Got him contemplating your next. I'm the one behind the wheel when them conversations go left. I need violence. But she wireless. I'm okay with a tech. Ooh. <laughs> Shout out to Rasheed. Shout out to Rasheed. He said, Rasheed Wallace, I'm okay with getting the tech. If y'all if y'all watch basketball, believe it or not, basketball was my first sport. And it's the sport that I was the best at. Even though I'm, you know what I'm saying? Big Diesel around my room. Just playing. <laughs> but hey, man, hey. If you watch basketball, you know Rasheed Wallace gave no fucks. <laughs> Nigga was always getting them techs. Fuck you mean. 
balance, I'm okay with a tech. What's the difference from a nigga who lived it and storytellers? Of course we fell in, so the brick whiter than Tory spelling. No the killers, nobody on my block was poured in us. I put a fork in a pot and got a euphoric feeling. Uh, young heathens clap toes over VVS jewels. White kids put heaters at school on the CBS news. Became a legend for the skeptics who ain't believe me that dude. And for mornings, I never ate unless they feed me at school. Uh huh. Serving out pots, had me turning out blocks. It's Griselda, nigga. You know we the firm without box. Everything about timing, and I was stern on my clock. Griselda. Niggas out now grinding, trying to earn what I got. Uh, Hold on. Blocks. It's Griselda, nigga. You know we the firm without box. Fox. Everything about timing, and I was stern on my clock. Cause niggas out now grinding, trying to earn what I got. Uh, mm. Stick to the strip, my advantage was hustle. So I'm saying off the muscle, I'm hearing careers I could cancel a couple. The shooters crossed the Atlantic to touch you. Rubber got uh stick to the strip, my advantage was hustle. So I'm saying off the muscle, I'm hearing careers I could cancel a couple. The shooters crossed the Atlantic to touch you. Rubber bands in a duffel with both hands full, I ain't panic, I juggle. I'm very confident, y'all barely popping it. <laughs> y'all niggas treat A project Jake like K Washington. Chill back, stab in the hell, I took A consequence. The yard big enough at the crib to bury hostages. Enough, enough. Oh shit. I was, I was about to say, Royce, you got me fucked up with this. I was. I was about to say, Royce, we're gonna have some problems. We're gonna have some problems if you if, if you ain't finished this joint. We was gonna have some problems. You 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 can't end it with getting with getting stuck up and then just just nope, done with, over with. But no, he we we got the two B continue. We got the two B continue. So we gonna we gonna make sure we tune in for that. We gonna make sure we tune in for that and see see how this. See how this plays out. Because he, he dropped the plate. She had the gun to his face. I'm, let me rewind it back just a little bit. Let me rewind it back just a little bit. Hey, Washington. Chill back, stab in the hell. I took a consequence. Oh, yeah. He ain't, he ain't even see it coming at all. She was walking away with the shit. And she like, nigga, she ain't even say a word. She ain't say a word. He, he knew what time it was. He knew what time it was. Hey, Royce, Royce from the streets. He knew what time it was. Hey, you, ain't, you ain't even got to say a word. You feel somebody grabbing you in the other hand? You, you know what time it is. You know what? You, you ain't got to say a damn thing. Hey, it's just, you got me, homie. Hey, you know? She ain't say a thing. He already knew. Like, hey, shh. She, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Take it. You know? God damn. My nigga really put his chain in that bitch, though. <laughs> Man, Royce the 5'9", upside down with Benny the Butcher. Hey, I hope Benny the Butcher on part two. That, that, that nigga nice. That nigga nice. Uh, Benny the Butcher coming through slicing and dicing shit. Okay. Okay. Let me know what y'all thought about this. Join the comment section below. Make sure you guys, as always, leave that like before you go. Smack that subscribe button that's right over there, as you guys already know. And, of course, family, check out the video that's right over there, too. You might like it. And I'm going to catch y'all in the next one. Doc Rich, I'm out.